Hi, this is Jim Starkweather with the Kitmaker Network, and welcome to another episode of Turning the Page. Today we've got a nuts and bolts um, book, a softcover book out. This is volume 30. This one's by, uh, um, pronunciations that might be wrong, but uh, the Heiner F. Dusk, Tony Greenland, and uh, Detlev Terl- Terliston. Terliston? Um, this is on the the Nebel Panzer and Veil Faschwerfer. Veil Faschwerfer? Veil Faschwerfer. Uh, I'm not even going to try my German out. Okay, so <laughs> now it also has listed um, at the bottom here uh, J. Bation, M. Block, J. Nelson, and H. Tipman. I'm assuming that maybe publishers, contributors, or publishers, writers, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how these work. I'm not having, this is my first nuts and bolts review, at least on a video. So kind of bear with me here while I, while I uh, do my virgin, uh, virgin version. Okay, so um, this is uh, Tony Greenland's Panzerwerfer. Obviously, on the left-hand side, they start off with uh, a model, and then we get uh, right in. I believe this has been written on the um, the actual information about the uh, Panzer uh, Nebelwerfer um, is uh, written by these guys. So um, let me see. Oh, I was right. Publisher, yes. Those that's those are the publishers up on the front. Uh, see, I, I I can guess well. Um, I've already put some, looks like some nice oil marks on that part of the page, so moving on. Okay, so you can see the way they're listed out. These are highly, um, these books are in English and uh, German. Um, at least that looks German to me. Yes, it is German. <laughs> I was just kidding. Um, so you've got uh, left-hand columns uh, in English, right-hand columns in uh, German. And uh, I see a lot of publications that way. I think it's a good idea. Um, kind of a kill two birds in one stone kind of thing without having to publish separate books. Uh, of course, the people who speak French, Russian, and so forth probably aren't thrilled, but oh well. Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> um, so, uh, although they may make different versions, I suppose, at that point. Um, so the, the, a lot of text, obviously. Um, let me just read uh, some of the text so you can get an idea of the uh, consistency or the the translation quality anyways. Uh, this one's talking about the technical construction. The Nebel Warfare 41 was developed as a gun and towed by a Nebel Warfare, Nebel Work, Craftwag, Nebel Warfare Craftwagon, NBKW, three-ton uh, SDKFZ 11-4 or the 11-5. The SDKFZ 11-4 was the main towing vehicle for the Nebel Warfare D NBW41 and the E and NBW42 with a crew of six, chief section, chief of section, driver, and four gunners, and could transport 36 grenades of the NBWD according to its stowage plan, D1125-4. The Schwer Nebel Kraftwagen SD uh, KFC 11-5 could carry 30 grenades and 150 fuses of the type ERZ39. Uh, and then it gives the German for that, what that means. Um, so, uh, again, I'll read a little bit more. The main components of the Nebel Warfare were its gun carriage, six tubes, locking device tube, optics, and accessories. In, fire, in firing position, the gun had a weight of 540 kilograms. The gun carriage consisted of a lower carriage with sp split rails and jack, an upper gun carriage with aiming device, and the pressed steel disc wheels. The lower gun carriage was a box made of steel plates, which served as a guide for the upper carriage and holder of the of the trails, the suspension, and the jack. I'll stop there. Uh, but you know, you can see it's very obviously very well uh, translated into English. There's no you know jarring uh, translation issues and so forth. Um, so they've got uh, obviously organizational um, outlines here for um, uh, various. Uh, Military uh, breakdowns of you know what kind of what units consisted of, um, which is a very nice thing. They've got lots of text. Uh, let's kind of skip forward here because this this book does. Let me, I should have done this at the beginning, obviously, but this book is uh, a total of 209, 210 pages. Um, it is a co a color with black and white photos and lots of text, as I have already noted. Uh, lots of these organizational uh, overlays. Uh, uh, spreadsheets with you know number of units during uh, what years and what months. Uh, so this book is a lot of research. Um, probably I'm, I'm assuming taking potentially even years of, of accumulating data and putting things together. Um, so it's not really uh, so surprising uh, in terms of uh, what's out there now in terms of uh, how people are able to connect and get information, find photos, 
Um, the internet is a wonderful thing in that sense. So um, make sure I've got this in center frame and I didn't. Um, so you can see even, you know, obviously some captured photos from the U.S., uh, probably combat pho photography teams. And uh, it's just, you know, there's just so much here. It's, uh, I could spend an hour probably, you know, going through the book and, and so forth. But that wouldn't be fair to the publisher because then you might not buy the book if, there, if there's things in here that uh, you just gleaned and, and so forth. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, lots of great photography. Um, you know, this is a section obviously on a restoration of a current um, Neville Warfer setup. Uh, that's like a vehicle-mounted one. What vehicle is this? So this is the um, Opel Mocular, um which was described in extensively in Nuts and Bolts Volume 28. So uh, obviously they're able to also do that, carry on their, um, a research team like this can carry on their projects and so forth. This this book, um, let me see if it has the any pricing information listed on the outside. Uh, I'm not seeing any on the inside. I didn't think I saw any on the outside, to be honest. So I believe you can go to their website um, directly if you can't find this book uh, via a hobby store or online. Um, and that is, the web address is www.nuts-bolts.de. Um, and it uh, clearly says, I believe you can order books there. So you can see they're up to, this is volume 30, and they're up to, obviously they have 29 other volumes. Um, so definitely if you're interested in, in these types of reference books, I think they, um, I think we're uh, already, for example, we've got uh, someone wanting to take this book for a written review. So uh, Rick Cooper is going to be doing a written review on this. Um, hopefully I'll get the video out before he gets his written review out because he's just a speed demon. So, um, Well, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. Tell us about your experiences with Nuts and Bolts books and uh, you know how you like them or, or, or not. But I have a feeling most people probably do like them. So thanks for watching.